Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will take a look at the cheapest standalone drawing tablet in the market. We will go through the features it holds for a test and give you an honest opinion of what to expect. The big question though is whether the tablet's drawing capabilities match a namesake like the legendary Picasso. Stick around to find out. Remember to like, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more video notification in the feature. Simbin's Picasso is one of the most affordable standalone tablets on the market. If you are a beginner, student, or amateur artist, the tablet will enhance your work to an effective level. One thing worth mentioning is that the Simbin's Picasso tab is a standalone tablet, meaning you don't have to connect it to a computer for you to use it. Before we get to that, we will check the drawing tablet's build and design, screen, and display. And finally what we all want to know, the drawing experience. Additionally, we will highlight the processing features of the tablet, as well as the internal storage. Simmons refers to the Picasso tab as the best gift for beginner and graphic artists. They further assure you a smooth playing time with games like Angry Bird, Minecraft, Candy Crush, and Sims. Build and design. The Simmons Picasso tab features a panel size of 14 by 8 by 2.1 inches. This is a good size that enhances mobility and portability. The lightweight build of 2, 9 pounds is further great for portability since you can comfortably slide it inside your backpack. However, I would prefer a slightly bigger tablet, maybe a 13.3 inches size that is quite comfortable to hold as you draw. But don't get too alarmed, it could be a large palm disorder on my end. On the front of the tablet is a 2.0M camera and on the rear a 5.0M camera. The tablet has a faux leather casing that protects the tablet from scratches and dust and is easy to clean. That is it on the build and design. One thing the tablet is missing is express keys that come in handy in enabling shortcuts for more effectiveness and productivity. Screen and display. The first thing you realize when you set your eyes on the Simbin's Picasso is the 10 inches display screen. It comes with an IPS HD screen display, ensuring you are provided with rich and vivid colors from any viewing angle. The Picasso tab offers a screen resolution of 12 by 800 pixels. Although some smartphones do come with a higher resolution compared to this, you will however enjoy YouTube and Netflix videos in HD quality. The screen further features a palm rejection technology that ensures resting your palm on the screen does not affect your art. The screen is quite nice, and the IPE's display makes your colors come to life. However, the screen resolution is quite low compared to other standalone tablets. Drawing experience. A good drawing experience is measured by the features harbored by the stylus and the screen response capabilities to the stylus. Let's first take a look at the stylus the Simbin's Picasso tab uses. The Simbin's Picasso tab features the active pen that offers a pen resolution of 1024. It is then run by AA batteries which are quite effective in that they offer a quality 8-10 HRS of usage after a full charge. Additionally, the pen is built for comfort, and being lightweight, drawing and note-making is easy and comfortable. This is impressive for a tablet that is sold at such an affordable price, and that size. Processing and RAM Almost all drawing tablets of the Picasso tab's price range are either pen tablets or display tablets. Simbin's Picasso being a standalone tablet. It is powered by MediaTek Quad-Core MTK8163 chipset combined with a RAM of 2GB and 32GB internal storage. In comparison to the high-end standalone tablets, these RAM and internal storage levels may be quite low. If you are not comfortable with the internal storage size, you can expand it using a microSD card. However, when you consider this as an entry-level standalone tablet, it is quite understandable why such low levels. Pros, budget-friendly, portable and mobile, quality IPS display, long-lasting battery life stylus, upgradable internal storage. Cons, low levels of pen pressure sensitivity, low RAM levels, low levels of screen resolution. Conclusion, Simmons Picasso tab being an entry-level standalone tablet is quite a good tablet for beginners. It will efficiently get work done before you get yourself a more professional standalone tablet. Some of the setbacks you will encounter are low-level pen pressure sensitivity, low RAM, and internal storage. However, no one should complain after such a bargain on the price. There we go. Hope you now have an overview on what to expect when you purchase the Simmons Picasso tablet. Remember to share, like, and subscribe. Goodbye.